What do you want other rappers that have brought up your son's name to know? Tuka is a whole person. It's not no strand of weed. He should be remembered as no strand of weed. He have a mother. He has family out here. You know what I'm saying? He has people that love him dearly out here. So all this stuff y'all talking about, y'all smoking on Tuka and dissing him, you can't dance with the devil and expect God to forgive you. You can't do that. It's either or. Talk to me about the life of your son. What was he like growing up? Um, Tuka was always, I'll say, he was just Tuka. He was just himself. He, he had his own personality. He just had his own way of thinking in life. Like, But he always kept me on my toes, though. That's one thing I can say. My son kept me on my toes all the time. But no nothing that I couldn't expect to be doing something for Tuka. <laughs> When did you realize that he wanted to do music? Actually, I found that out maybe like in 2010, when him and his brother and Duckham used to get together in the basement. I had found the big old shoebox of lyrics, and I'm like, where this stuff come from? And one day he just recited some stuff. I'm like, boy, you really good, huh? But he never had the chance to keep going and pursue it because someone took his life so sudden. Shondell was 15 years old when he got killed. He was standing on the bus stop, coming home from school, like a normal child supposed to, on January 12, 2011. I got a call from him at 6.08, telling me he was on his way home, and I got a call from a detective at 6.14, telling me my son was dead. What was going on that day that he lost his life? Uh, it was like a normal day, like... He had got kicked out of school or whatever, and I had went and got him back in school, and he didn't want to go over to school, so my daughter had called me like, Mama, Tuka won't get up to take me to school, so I had to tell him, like, Tuka, get up, take your sister to school. Okay, Mama, I'm going to get up, I'm going to get up. He got up, took his sister to school, and that was the last I heard from my son. Did you know that there was any issue with your son and anyone else from the neighborhood or other neighborhoods? No, I didn't know that there was an issue. I mean, we did used to get into it. Like, if he gonna stand on the bus stop on King Drive, we gotta worry about the boys from Parkway. Talking about he from coming from such area. I mean, that's about it. But as far as him being out here in these streets, no, I never had a problem. I mean, he was a regular child. He was only 15 years old doing stuff a 15 year old child to do. I mean, he couldn't have intimidated nobody that much where they want to take his life from him at the age of 15. How do you feel when you see the impact of your son and, and the name Tuka? Well, it depends on which impact you're talking about because I love the positive impact. It's the negative impact that I don't like. It's because my son was 15 years old. You know what I'm saying? How could y'all get a person, a person who was named, he got his nickname from the hospital. They called him Attitude. I shortened it up for Tuka. Because everybody didn't want to keep saying attitude. So we called them Tuka. So, I mean, I don't get how that they can feel so intimidated by someone who's 15 years old and want to take a person and be making it to a strand of weed. Or like, how could you go from smoking on Tuka to, I, I mean, where did that come from? Who smokes on a dead person? How do you feel when you hear people say they're smoking on your son, Tuka? Oh, it makes me upset. It makes me upset because, I mean, where, where do the level of disrespect come? Stop. He's already dead. He's not here to do nothing to nobody. He can't intimidate nobody. So, I mean, what is the intimidation coming from? I don't get it. I mean, people are just so cruel out here in this world. I don't understand how people could be so cruel. And he was only 15 years old. My son been dead 10 years. And it's like, I still can't get no type of lenient from nowhere. Because every time you turn around, if it's like the upcoming ones, it's the industry, people that's already in the industry. And they don't even know my son. They just want off of something somebody else said about my son. And it's, it's not fair. 
It's not fair. And that's why I'm here today, because it's not fair. I'm going to be my son's voice. I beg from day one when my son got killed that I didn't want no retaliation, no none of this. But yet, and still, it's like, it's just ongoing. And I, I just wanted to stop. I just wanted to stop. I just want us to come together as one. Let people live their life. Live and let live is my motto. I hate that it got to be under these circumstances, but I'm kind of glad that I had this opportunity because I've been trying to get this opportunity for 10 whole years and then nobody listened.